Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Don't put in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double in. Right there. Let's do this. Let's do this. That mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Let's do this. Have you ever gone to gaff a fish and had to take a couple of swipes at him before you tagged him? Or you ever went to gaff him? hit the line and lost the fish? Or you possibly always wondered to yourself, am I using the right gaff? Am I doing this right? Why am I always hitting my fish right in the middle and it's getting in the meat? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna go over some of the most commonly asked questions about how to properly gaff a fish. That's right, we're gonna go over how to gaff a fish the best way. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Okay, so the way that we boat fish is always a debatable subject. There's grabbing the line, wrapping it around your hand, and horsing the fish onto the boat. There's doing what's called a tail grab. When you pull the line on one hand, you can grab the fish by the other hand. And then, there's gaffing the fish. So this leads to our first question that most people ask. When do I know it's the right time to gaff a fish? You're gonna know it's the right time to gaff a fish when the fish gets kinda close to the boat. However, sometimes you can just tell that the fish is big enough when he initially strikes and he's way out there and there's a lot of tension on your line. If you've got a little dink on the line, there is no need to break out the gaff. I typically pull out the gaff when the fish starts to get in between the 10 to 15 pound range. After that, you don't want to horse a fish onto your boat. You will lose them just like this. Oh man, he's a good fish. Oh, and he just got off. So like you just saw, if you've got a good meaty fish, don't bother pulling him up by the line. He will more than likely get off and then you're gonna have to start the hunt all over. When to gaff a fish is when they're big enough. It's a learning process. It's an experience thing. We all lose fish. It's a judgment call. If the fish looks big enough, it is big enough. Now this when do I know exactly when to put the gaff in the fish question also leads into when is the proper time. If that fish comes up to the boat and he's still pulling and circling and doing death spirals and everything, turning on his side, sounding, I would say it's more than likely not the appropriate time to grab the gaff and try and stick it in him. You're more than likely going to hit your line and cut the fish off. Gaffs are sharp at the tip and they will cut through your line, no problem. So what I'm getting at is that if your fish is at the boat and still very lively, you have to work on depleting that energy source, wearing him down. Keep playing him a little bit longer until he is more subdued and calmer. A fish can see that gaff coming. He's got a hook in his mouth. It's stinging. It's burning. They do feel pain. They see the boat. Everything is unnatural at that point. So the fish freak out right at the boat is natural. It revives their energy even if they are down. So you have to wear them down more. When they come up to the boat and it's obvious that that energy source is depleted almost entirely, then it's time to consider sticking the gaff in it. This is where the experience thing comes in. So this will lead to the next question. Where exactly is the best place to gaff a fish? I've heard all sorts of the best places to gaff a fish. I've heard take head shots, I've heard anywhere doesn't matter as long as you get the fish in the boat. I've heard if you want to let the fish go, stick him in the tail and get him on. I've heard in the shoulders, get him on board. Let me tell you what I think about properly placed gaff shots. My first advice is don't ever go for a head shot. It's super tricky. More than likely you're going to miss. The head is very hard. It's a bony thing. You don't want to miss and cut your line or pop the hook out of his mouth. 
The next idea of sticking the fish in the tail so that you can release them is improper too. That's like somebody sticking a big old hook in your ankle and saying, ah, he'll be fine. No, if you plan on letting a fish go, do not stick it with the gaff. Just let it go. You can more than likely do a tail grab, unhook the fish, and throw them back in the water. And then the next theory about stick him wherever as long as he gets in the boat. We've worked hard to hunt down a fish. We've put gas in the boat. We've got bait, ice, everything. We've gone on this journey to find these fish, get the hook up, and get them to the boat. And the last thing we want to do is stick a gaff in a random spot and kind of mess up some of that meat that we've gone after. If you've ever stuck a gaff in the middle of the fish and had them fold in half when you brought them on board and you went to fillet them, you're going to see all these blood vessels that have burst. There's, you're going to see your hole and right around it you will see all the redness of where you stuck the gaff. Granted, you didn't ruin the meat, but it's not exactly pleasant. Humans do inherently eat with their eyes, so you want to try to avoid doing this. So if you're asking me, the best placed gaff shots are right behind the pectoral fin, just above the belly but not above the spine. What this does is this quickly subdues this fish. It takes the wind out of their sail instantly. Now when you drop them on the deck, sure, you're gonna get a little blood, they're gonna flop around because you have mortally wounded them. Getting them behind the pectoral fin prevents a flop off when yanking them over the gunnel. And as I said, hitting them behind the pectoral fin takes all of that fight out of them like that. Behind the pectoral fin, the fish can flop back and forth and try and wiggle his way off. It's not going to happen until you release the pressure from the fish. Also, getting him behind the pectoral fin leaves his face and his mouth facing upwards, which means if you've got a toothy critter on there such as a barracuda, a wahoo, or a kingfish, those razor sharp scissor like teeth and jaws are angled up nowhere near your feet if you've tacoed a fish and he's folded in half and he comes off and he flops down on the ground you could possibly get raked in the shin or bit in any random area from this fish that goes to say once you gaff a fish and you boat him and you lay him on the deck be cautious of head placement especially with the toothy critters so in my opinion that is the best gaff shot placement. Let's imagine this. Someone sticks a gaff in your armpit. What are you going to do? You're not getting away real easy, no matter which way you run. Same thing with a fish. You're essentially sticking them in the armpit, and they cannot go anywhere. I'm going to give you a little tip about marksmanship when it comes to aiming your gaff and hitting that sweet spot to get the fish on board, no problem. I was told this saying a long time ago, and I'm sure many people have heard it. It goes like this. Aim for the button. Don't aim for the shirt. So if we're dealing with the fish, you can say aim for the fin, not for the belly. You'll get that accurate shot just like that if you keep that saying in mind. And you'll get better as time goes on. Along with the where is the best place to gaff the fish theory, goes the ultimate question. What's the best technique to do it? So every time I go to gaff a fish, I'm a hot mess. I got line here, I got a gaff there. If I haven't forgot it on the other side of the boat, my rod's in my hand, my fish is right there, everything. We gotta pause. We gotta slow it down. Let me explain to you the proper way to handle these situations. When it comes to gaffing a fish, the last thing you ever wanna do is have your line over here, crossing this way, and having your gaff go this way. If you miss, you're going through your line, and you're gonna either pull the hook out of his mouth, or you're gonna cut through your line. The best thing to do is first make sure you have your gaff available. I am right-handed, so my gaff will be here. If you are left-handed, just pretend and do it the opposite of what I'm going to tell you. So I try to have the fish be boated from the starboard side of the boat. So I pull the fish forward on the line in my left hand. I make sure the line is going out at like a 45 degree angle with the fish that is properly worn down and not energetic. When I go to gaff the fish, the hook of the gaff is facing up like this. I'm not trying to go over the fish and yank him in like this. 
I'm going to go underneath him, underneath his belly, and again, hook him right in the armpit. So I'm pulling my fish forward, I dive my gaff down underneath him, and I stick. If you take a swipe and a miss, don't get flustered. Don't just start trying to stick the gaff a million times. Reset and do it again. Now, you don't have to reset completely and let go of the line and do it all. Keep your gaff in the water and try and get him right again before he gets away. Now, if you miss him, he will flop a little bit. So be careful of what you're aiming for, where you're aiming. Again, remember gaff shot placement. And that's my thoughts on proper gaffing technique. Keeping your line away and clear from where you're going to put that big giant hook. Let me show you what it looks like to get a fish on the first try that's been subdued nicely with the gaff. Good kingfish, good kingfish. There we go. That's a solid kingfish right there. And now I'm gonna show you nice calm dolphin that I brought up to the side of the boat and I had to take a couple of swipes at him. You don't lose your cool. You keep it together. You keep your gaff in the water and you take that second swipe and you get him. Proper gaff placement right underneath that pectoral fin. That way he doesn't flop off. A nice size cow dolphin, probably about a 10, 15 pounder. Good kingfish. Nice dolphin, there we go, that's dolphin trolling for you. Now we're gonna come to the final question when it comes to gaffing a fish. Which gaff do I use? Which gaff to use is always debatable. There are a few factors that can help you decide which gaff to use. The first factor is how big is your fish? If he's a 50, 60 pound fish, you're not gonna wanna use a hand gaff. If he's a smaller 10, 15 pound juvenile fish, it's gonna be okay to use a hand gaff. But let's also consider this as we go along. Am I fishing in a sort of center console bay boat with low gunnels? Can I use a smaller gaff? Or am I fishing on a walk around boat where I have my gunnels up that are three feet up? You're not gonna to wanna to use a hand gaff and lean way over the boat and try and gaff a fish with a hand gaff. So in general terms, this is a hand gaff. I rarely ever use this. I don't like leaning over the boat that far. I mean, this is as accurate as it gets. Your hand is as close to the weapon part of the tool. Getting it right where it belongs is no problem. However, you're right in the action with it. If you're on a boat with high gunnels, you're more than likely never gonna use one of these things. If you've got a 30, 40 pound fish, it's not gonna be getting up on this thing. You don't wanna use it. Then. There's my favorite gaff. This is a 30 inch gaff. My boat is a 17 foot center console Key West. I have low gunnels. I do not have to lean over very far to be able to use this gaff. This gaff does fine on lots of juvenile sized fish up to about the 20 to 30 pound range. After that, I'm gonna wanna work my way up to a more meaty gaff. This gaff I've used for many years and it does lots of sticking for me and it gets the fish on the boat, no problem. I'm talking kingfish, I'm talking dolphin, cobia, and many more. The list goes on and on. Gaff, choice, and selection is a personal thing. You have to be comfortable with the tool you're using. Keep that in mind. I'm comfortable gaffing large fish with this. If you're not, and you would rather use a more meaty gaff, you better get it in your hands as you see the fish approaching the boat. This is a five foot gaff. It's got a bigger hook at the end. It is rated for bigger fish. This gaff you can stick 50, 60, 70 pound fish with and get them in the boat no problem. Again, it's all about that aim, getting them underneath the armpit and sliding them over the gunnel 
into the boat carefully. If I want to stand straight up and tag fish with this gaff, I can. It keeps me from leaning over or getting on one knee on top of my bait wells or anything with the smaller gaff. Another thing, if I'm doing high speed trolling and I'm yanking a fish in, I really don't want to be bending over with my boat going, you know, 10 knots. I'd rather be safer and use the bigger gaff and get more than likely the bigger fish. Another thing, if you're on a boat with the three foot high gunnels, a walk around, or any commercial sized vessel, you're gonna to wanna to use a gaff like this. You're not gonna to wanna to use a hand gaff. You're not gonna to wanna to use this gaff because you're gonna to have to lean over and get into the water and then you've gotta straighten out your back and then pull the fish up. A gaff like this, you're gonna stick the fish and then hand over hand, you're gonna bring your fish up and into the boat. Gaffing is all about technique. If you have good practices and you keep your wits about you, getting the fish in the boat is no problem. If you're spastic when you're gaffing your fish, they can get off and they can go right back in the water. Another thing about gaffs, they do go dull. Every once in a while, you will have to sharpen them. Put them on a grinding stone. Take some sandpaper to them. You can even polish them up a little bit with a wire brush. The tip of a gaff does come out of true every once in a while, especially if you drop it. You're gonna want a sharp tip, not a tip that is bent like this. It's gonna slip on the fish. So there you have it, the basics of gaffing. When to gaff the fish. Hey, if it's big enough, and you think it's big enough, and you're concerned about getting him in the boat, grab the gaff. Is the fish done? Has his time come? Is he worn out? Is it gonna be all right if I stick this gaff in him and he's not gonna freak out? How do I stick him? I keep messing up every time I go to gaff a fish. Am I doing this right? Yes, it's very simple. Keep the line away from the gaff. Where do I stick him? Not in the middle, not in the meat. Quit aiming for the head, that's why you're missing. Go right underneath that pectoral fin, right in here. And lastly, use the appropriate gaff. It's simple, big fish, Big gaff. Don't lean over into the water to gaff your fish. You're gonna go over the boat. Be comfortable with your weapon of choice. It's that simple. You have to let common sense take over when you are sticking the fish. And in closing, we have to be honest with ourselves. Practice makes perfect. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had fun. And I hope you learned a little bit about what I consider to be the best decision-making processes and the best way to go about gaffing a fish. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.